We are now ready to talk about solution number two to address why speedsters leak. This particular suggestion is, has been used before on British cars, the Austin Healy's, the Bug Eye Sprite, the MG Midget, Triumphs, and it is a framed metal section with glass or Lexan inserted into it. In some cases, as I've demonstrated, it's split in half and the forward section is fixed in that frame and the rear section is allowed to slide forward to give you some openness to it, which is an advantage. However, not all of them do that. Some of them just have a fixed glass in it. Is this an improvement? Well, let's study it. First of all, there is an increased visibility. You've gotten rid of the canvas surround, so you're, you probably increased your visibility by 25%, and in these cars, visibility is everything. But let's look, about the, look at the areas about which we've spoken that caused the problem. Number one, down here at the bottom, near the windshield post, the inescapable leakage through there. No matter how you seal that, that's going to be a problem. Even with the advent of a flap along the bottom, like on the original side curtains, an installation of a flap along the glass on the front, an improvement, yes. But unfortunately, right up here at the top, as always, the juncture of the three systems, you have a leak which won't go away. You also have to rely on the flap. The same flap that's been the nemesis throughout the whole discussion here. Look how much it lifts up and look how much of the side curtain is exposed when it does blow up. And if you reach your hand behind there, you'll see there's nothing there but another flap, the same flap that was there before. No improvement there. What about back here in the back where we've had our so-called air scoop effect? Same problem, the air is scooped in, but the oncoming air circles around between the two flaps and into the car. So, in some respects, this is not an improvement. In other respects, it is. If this is a system that you want to use on your speedster, you should weigh the pros and the cons and determine whether the things that are improvements outweigh the things that are not. And we'll review one more time. Fixed glass in the front, sliding glass in the back is one option. Will allow you some fresh air, will allow you a hand access for certain things, but as far as sealing goes, you really haven't improved too much. And let's discuss why. When we remove this side curtain and look at how thick it is, you will begin to see why this is so hard to seal. First of all, let's look at the top. Look how wide it is. A piece of Lexan is a quarter inch thick. This is five eighths to three quarters inches wide. And if you use the slide effect, it's going to be a little bit wider than that. Look at the bottom. The bottom has got a much wider section so that you can channel the uh, glasses in there and also put some felt in there to keep them from rattling and also help prevent the wind. So a heavy device, hard to store, very, uh, very limited in its, uh, its improvement, but definitely better visibility, fresh air access, hand access, but you're still going to get wet. Let's look at the, the measure, the criteria. Number one, is it effective? Well, we're looking to seal the car. We haven't really improved there. Is it convenient? Operating this is somewhat convenient. You still have to remove it from storage in your trunk, install them, use your hands to put the flaps into position. Uh, not really convenient, but it seems to be one of the necessary evils of these cars. Obstruction. In some cases, it actually improves your visibility. It in no way really limits the function of the car as it was before, so there's no obstruction here. Storage, as we've mentioned already, they're heavy, they're big, they're rigid, they take up a lot of space, and speedsters don't have a lot of space. Appearance. The appearance is not affected in any way when these things are removed, so that's a plus. The appearance with them up is not unpleasing either, so that's also a good point. However, we're talking about leaking here, and the most important thing is, does it seal any better? And unfortunately, the answer is no. So, solution number two is another choice you have to put on your speedster.